So ever since I got my new television working, I've noticed that it crops off the top of the, the video. And that's just not going to work right for any video games. Well then if you open it up like this, you can see that there's actually two other potentiometers that, that they don't allow you to access in the back. They have like the little square where they were going to cut the holes, but they just never cut the holes. And one of them is height. That's exactly the potentiometer I want. The other one is sub-bright. Don't know what that does, but we can figure it out. Either way, if we cut a hole right here in the back of the case, we should gain access to those so I can tweak it while I run the TV. Because I don't want to be tweaking it with the back case off. I don't know, just, it's usually not a good idea to be fiddling around with a TV when the case is off and it's on. Thankfully this is really weak plastic so I can just like cut it with my pocket knife. Here we go. And check that out. Now we have access to these other two potentiometers. Keep in mind though, you'd want to use an insulated screwdriver because you might get shocked from those metal potentiometers. Because I don't know what voltage it's running at. Now it's Saturday and it's a little toasty in here. It's about 95 degrees outside and it feels about, I'd say, 89 in here. Okay, actually no. It feels like 79 because it's so dry. And so I like it. I mean, 95 degrees, eh, it's still pretty nice because the sweat evaporates off your skin pretty quickly and you really don't get sweaty because it evaporates as soon as it gets out of the pores. So it feels nice. I noticed that the uh, the LCD screen that I bought a while back actually is on Lazy Susan. So that works great so I can have a good viewing angle when I'm sitting at my desk. Or I can move it like that to, walk, to watch long stuff like movies or whatever and I can just lay in bed. That's pretty cool. I went to the recycling center last Monday to get a power uh, a wall wart, just a power supply for 12 volt 1 amp to run the little digital to analog TV converter box for the TV. I also happened to get these, Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy IX, and Final Fantasy Anthology. I paid them five bucks a piece because they had no idea what it was. So when I offered them that much money, they were like, hell yeah. And they really liked, my, liked me paying them money for it. But I could easily sell these for five bucks a piece. They sell on eBay for like 15 to $20 a piece. So it's like, eh, whatever. I have like nine or like six copies of Final Fantasy IX now, I, and I've only found like one copy of Final Fantasy VII and one couple of copy of Final Fantasy VIII. I don't know why there's so many copies of Final Fantasy IX. Anyway, I should start selling them sometime. I don't really feel like a drive to do anything today, but I think let's hook up the digital to, to analog converter box and then see about getting extra channels, making a new antenna. Oh, looks like the power supply is working fine. So I think a lot of people mean they have like a danger thing. You know, they're afraid of falling off the mountain and they're afraid of falling off things. They're afraid of danger. And I mean, I'm afraid of danger too. Like if I... Let's do a scan because I have the shitty little antenna up here. Let's see how many channels we get. So while that's scanning, I think I can tell you about some really good news. My landlord said that he'd like me to stay and he'll be dropping $200 off the rent per month. So it's only $1,300 a month. That's not bad. And I keep all utilities and everything else. He's also, poss he's also probably going to take that old water tank off my hands that I got whenever I also got that other tank for my electron microscope. Because he wants to make a still to make some wine or whatever. He, he can use that. I don't care. He also would like me to, to work on making a solar a solar panel system. So that's cool. He wouldn't mind me having batteries out here. So awesome. I'm quite happy with this. 
They also said I could have. They also said I could have um, like a pile of junk in the backyard just to have stuff to work on. I'm liking this place quite a bit. So yeah, everything's been going really nicely, and this room's nice and big, and I'm really enjoying it quite a bit. I, I like Campbell a lot more than Cupertino, because Campbell, it's a lot. It's, it's a, all the TVs on. Looks like we got a couple of channels. Hmm. But yeah, I like Campbell because it's a lot more like Taylor Springs or Hillsboro in Illinois. And another thing that I've been really happy about here recently is that I'm already about two months into my gender transition. That's that's pretty interesting. Already noticing quite a few changes. Maybe not like very strong changes, but interesting enough. I'm not trying to like d disgust you guys or anything like that because this is more of a my engineering side of uh, this is my more of engineering channel or as I have other personal channels for that kind of stuff but I thought I'd let you guys know anyway because you do you do seem to be concerned about my life but yeah some of the changes have been like less hair growth I mean several times I've been able to just not shave in the morning I mean that that's awesome not being able, not having to shave every morning it's a nice option to have you know what I mean another is less greasy skin although today it's like 95 degrees and it's it's like it's like a sauna in mexico so i am pretty sweaty right now but most of the time i don't have to worry about like really greasy nasty skin i like that i mean i like not having greasy skin yeah slight chest growth that's interesting i can't wait for that to proceed further although it's it's not very much but it's it's noticeable and then I have to say another thing is just softer skin. That's really nice. I guess before I always thought I had like really rough skin and it feels a lot softer now. But hey, that's probably what estrogen will do to you anyway. So, oh well. Let's get back to this though. So it looks like we only got eight channels that time. Yeah, only eight. Looks like we need to make a better antenna. Yeah, it's quite warm out here, that's for sure. It's a nice Saturday, though. Let's see if those antennas are still back here. I mean, they should be. N nobody's taking them, I don't think. Yes, there it is, the old antenna. I wonder if there's a way around this side of the chicken coop. Looks like this would be the best way. Just through all these bricks and shit. I really hope there's not any snakes or anything living in here, but oh well. What's over there? Oh, more yard. That's somebody else's yard, though. Okay. That looks good enough to me. Darn, looks like it's buried. It's stuck in there pretty good. That's like a, a tenth of an antenna. Oh well. Hmm. You know, actually, this antenna doesn't look nearly as bad as... Okay, it does look pretty bad. It doesn't look nearly as incomplete as I thought. Because I was thinking like maybe the front half was chopped off. But it looks like... Mm -hmm. 
It is supposed to be just this long. And we're not actually missing any of the big sp spokes or whatever they're called. Like that, for instance. It's so short and stubby. I mean, it's, it's funny. But yeah. Hmm. We probably don't need all these pieces. Oh well. Yeah. I say let's just set that there. And I'll see if my coaxial cable can reach through the window into my room. Like that. Feed that back in there a little bit to get more slack. Man, yeah, let's go back inside. Almost. Let's just move this over then. I'll see if I get myself like a 30 foot coaxial cable later on. That'll help alleviate these issues. Now let's see. If we get any, oh, well, we already got that video, so let's do the scan. Whoa, it's already got f not nine. Whoa, it's already got more. This is fucking awesome. Yes. Oh my god, 62 channels, and I just saw Mystery Science Cedar scroll up on whatever this thing is that appeared. Evidently, there's some like menu thing. I don't fucking know. Trying to exit, but God, sixty two channels. And the sound goes out again. Yay. Oh my god, sounds back. This is so I'm awesome. Pretty sure this is my house. You know, I think I'm just content. I'll probably just sit here and watch Mr. Science Theater. It's, it's good enough. How can you top that? Ah, that was so nice for the two minutes until a commercial came on. Now I'm done with television for another five years or so. I got the cable in like 2009, uh, 2008, so... I really see no use in having TV, but I just like knowing how many how many channels I can get. Also, I, I guess it would it would be nice in case something happened, like an earthquake or whatever, and then, because I have to deal with that now. If, like, the internet went out but the television didn't, eh, that might, might be nice. But either way, it's just a number to, to count up, like, ooh, my score's up to 62 now. But yeah, 62 channels. That's awesome. If I really want to watch Ministry of Science Theater 3000, though, I'll just watch it on my computer. Better quality without fucking commercials. So there we go. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> it's, really, it's really cooled off out here though. It's like, I'd say a good 85 or so now. So it feels like 75. I still can't believe I got 62 channels. That's awesome. I love that. Well, there's not really that much else going on today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!